So many things here. Hey, that's it. Now, I was brewing a whole pot of coffee yesterday, and I totally forgot to put in the actual pot so everything just ran down on the floor. You say ran down, dripped down on the floor. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I've been asking about a monitor and if it's worth investing in a true 10-bit monitor. And since I'm updating my disk setup for 2022... <sighs> This is my monitor that I usually have outside in the uh, big studio space. Ah, heavy shit. Gonna take some time getting used to using a not ultra wide screen after using an ultra wide for so long. <laughs> this monitor is a true 10 bit monitor together with all the different features that a professional within the field of videography and photography might need. The downside though is that it's not an OLED screen, this is a mini LED. Basically the same as uh, Apple's XDR display. If I were to buy this new here in Sweden, it would cost me around $6,000. But I managed to get a very good deal, so I only paid $2,500 for it. I'm thinking that when I'm moving into the garage that will be my future studio, I can just take this with me, put it there. So I'm basically investing into the future right now. And there will also be a desk setup tour on my main channel coming I think later this week or maybe the next week. I'm testing out another setup for when I'm going to shoot tutorials. And uh, this one is a very good one because now I have the computer right here. I can just turn and talk to the camera and I can actually use this microphone whenever I'm recording these videos. So I'm currently shooting with the 40 millimeter baddies and on my main angle, I'm usually using the 24 millimeter. I've been thinking about buying a 1635 but I'm not entirely sure if I need another one, but I'm trying to optimize the entire workflow to make it as easy as possible to record videos. Today is actually the first real day back in the studio and uh, it feels good. It feels good to be here working, even though I, I'm like, things are not going as planned because I was thinking about starting a studio build out. And we do have insulation and studs in place. So I'm probably gonna start this later this week. I have a couple of things I need to finish up first. Uh. Ooh. Happy New Year from DJI. Wonder what this can be. Some stickers. A nice little frame. Happy Spring Festival. Rui Ji Manjang. I wonder if I pronounced it right. Wait a hell. En dur på grejen. Kalla jävla. Ja, det här får vi rulla ihop. Thank you. Festive teacup. Ooh. <laughs> wow. That looks great. I'm definitely gonna have these as coffee mugs here in the studio. Build a phantom set. Oh. Ooh. Lego Technic. This is gonna be so good. That is how it's going to be. Thank you, DJI. I really appreciate this. I'm super honored to be a part of like the DJI Creative Rooster and uh, they have been nothing but a blast to work with. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Who did I like? I managed to spill some uh, epoxy on the floor yesterday and it uh, kind of hardened as a smudge. The janitor is on it. You know, I really like hardware stores because they are a huge part of my creativity. I can go there and then I can see things that I can create with the things that the hardware store has. For example, an angle iron, a flat iron, M4 bolts, M4 nuts, a ball head joint, three, four bolts. Ta-da! I've already placed one here, one over here, another one here so that I can have just when I walk into the studio. So if you need an extra camera holder and you don't want to buy another tripod for your home studio, I can highly recommend this because it works like a short. The best part about this chair is how incredibly good we show you the real stuff. Perfect. One of the things that I have discussed so much when it comes to um, nutrition, both with relatives and people that I don't know, and everyone that doesn't have that much knowledge with nutrition, is that potatoes is way better than pasta and rice. The nutritional value of a potato when it comes to 100 grams is 75 calories and 15 grams of carbohydrates and 2 grams of protein, but it also contains a lot of different vitamins that is very good for you. Rice has 347 calories per 100 grams, unboiled that is, and 70 grams of carbohydrates and 7 grams of protein. Spaghetti contains basically the same. You have around 350 calories per 100 grams unboiled pasta and then 70 grams carbohydrates and kind of a good amount of protein actually. But the thing is that if you start calculating this and seeing the different amounts that you eat with rice, potatoes and spaghetti, you start to realize that you can actually eat more potatoes than you can eat with rice and still have a lower calorie intake than what you would have with rice and pasta. One portion of rice, which is approximately 75 grams unboiled, contains around 225 calories. The same goes for pasta. But when you look at the potatoes, one portion is approximately 150 grams and that only contains 127 calories, which means that you're eating double the amount of potatoes, but with less calories in. And if you want to lose weight, you usually want to eat less than you are actually spending in a way so that you're not gaining a caloric surplus. And eating potatoes instead of rice and pasta is a great way to get your stomach to feel filled up. And it's also gonna allow you to eat way more, but also gain less weight. So if I can recommend any single one of these, it's always going to be potatoes. But on the other hand, if you wanna gain weight, then potatoes might not be the best thing, because then you can probably go for the pasta or the rice, but you also gotta be cautious of the amount of calories that you get with the same amount as if you would eat potatoes. Now you know. <laughs>